Okay, so you've got your pre-approval. We've walked through the home. We've talked about the bidding strategy. We've looked at the bidding platform. We've applied, we're ready to go. Now we jump in with both feet. Maybe, maybe you're not quite ready yet. You're not quite sure. You don't want to kind of give it away. You've done an eBay bidding or whatever. Um, so you've got a concern about, about tipping your hand on what you're willing to pay. Don't worry about it. The bidding platform works like this. Even if you're the first bidder, you come in and bid your amount. You're going to have the amount you bid plus the buyer's premium equals the total amount that you're going to spend. And then behind the scenes, you will have told the platform, not someone else, how much your bid can go up to. And that's really based on what you can afford, not some, you know, not some uh, number that you would never be able to do. Because once you start this bidding process, you're committing to those dollars being spent on purchasing that property. If you're the highest bidder, you've made a commitment. So it, you're, once the bidding is over and you got a call back, we, we're going to take your offer then and we're going to write it down. We're going to go into a traditional uh, purchase and sale agreement. So it'll be whatever that highest bid was plus the buyer's premium again equals this amount of money. Um, there's a half a percent of the sale price that actually goes to pay the bidding platform for being there for us all to use it. Um, as a buyer's rep, typically that, that we're seeing that bidding platform fee or that, or that, that buyer's premium around three and a half percent. So it does cover you in the event you are using a realtor to represent you. And we certainly recommend that because you wanna get professional guidance all the way through this process and not be not be surprised, right, or stumped, right? So that's really as simple as it is. If you wanna come back, you've got five open houses so you can see it again and again. So we recommend maybe coming early if you've got some family members or other people, you wanna get their advice. Um, the only times that you can see the property are during those five open houses that last two hours a piece. So there's a 10 hour chunk of time that these ho this home would be open or a, or a bidding home would be open for you to check out and see. So. You've got yourself ready, you're equipped, you've got more knowledge now, hopefully, than what you had before. Let's go do some business and shop together. All right.